What's up, everybody? Um, what I have here is just a, it's a model made in Blender of my apartment. And um, yeah, we never really worked in a treated room before. So for about a month, I was doing some research um, on the most uh, effective methods um, for treating a room. Now this room is about four meters, a little more than four meters long and about four meters wide and three meters tall. So um, that rules out the possibility right away of using Hemholtz resonators and other forms of uh, resonance based um, low frequency absorption. So the next best thing you can do, more, more effective thing you can do, this is according to Ethan Weiner, who you can find a lot of really good information from him. That's where I got a lot of my information. And um, he said that the best bet is to go with a lot of low frequency broadband absorption. So here, what this is, is it's a, a density of 100 kilograms per cubic meter and it's about uh, 10 centimeters thick. And actually you can see the dimensions here. Yeah, 10 centimeters thick, 1.2 meters long, and 62 and a half centimeters wide. So this is rock wool, not fiberglass, it's rock wool. So you, basically you can't catch it, you can't set it on fire. So that's good. Um, and yeah, I'm going to wrap this in fleece and suspend it um, in the corners. Um, the way I'm going to do that is actually like this. So here I would have some relatively strong, I have some relatively strong rope. Um, and then, yeah, this is quite small, but I'm going to basically hang um, a, a, a screw from the ceiling um, and then have a circle go through it and then tie a band, pull it through tightly um and then uh, yeah do the same thing here another screw with a hole and tie the uh tie the rope through it um each of these weighs seven and a half kilos so they're not that light um so if your walls are kind of crappy you should uh, use the uh, correct uh, dowels to hold the uh, screws and the screws in firmly and uh, yeah the position of these, I just think that's going to end up being, yeah, 56.4 is going to be the position. So yeah, uh, how far out from the wall to create a 45 degree angle, I mean. Um, so yeah, what we're, what we're looking at doing here is taking care of your first reflection points. That's the first order of business. So your first reflection points, um, if you kind of imagine, um, uh, the midway point between where your head is and the speaker on the sides of the walls and also uh, the same goes for the ceiling so bing bing like that um, and then directly um, in the center of the speakers here if you can cover a little bit more area than uh, the concentrated spot then uh, you're a little better off um, so yeah, first reflection points are what are taken care of first. Um, mainly focusing on uh, mids and highs because those are the more directional frequencies. Um, low frequencies uh, are most effectively treated in the corners. Um, oh, also, sorry for the uh, other um, reflections. There's also one directly on the back side of the wall. So, just so you can see it a little differently, here is a different approach. So, wire frames. Yeah. So, same deal here. Just going to use those uh, screws with holes, those screws with the, the, the rings rather, and uh, suspend these with a uh, just a little pipe here, white pipe, and uh, some rope. You know, just put the plate in there. Not using any wood because the stuff is so dense that. You know, you can just you can just lay it on anything, and it it doesn't really flex or anything. It's pretty nice. Uh, let's see what else. What else? Ah, yes, base traps. So the base frequencies are by far the most difficult to deal with. The theory of this treatment is 
um, by really focusing on the corners with the high density material. This is only 50 kilos per cubic meter. That's the um, first reflection point treatment because I mainly want to get the mids and highs there. But to have any chance at absorbing low frequencies, you have to use more dense material. And this is even slightly reflective of high and mid frequencies, uh, more so highs than mids. Um, which is what I want. I don't want the whole room to be completely dead. Like, I don't want to hear my own heart beating or something like that. So, some reflection is good. Um, but if you take care of your first reflection points, you're going to minimize any seriously harmful reflections. So, how is this going to work? Well, these are so heavy that I didn't really want to mess around with supporting them on, a, on something if I didn't have to. So I'm just gonna simply set these on the ground after they're wrapped in fabric. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, use rope, a white rope, and tie it around the whole thing in front and then to the back of the wall, connected to the wall here. So um, the same kind of uh, thing that I showed over here with, it's a, it's a screw with the, with the ring. So I'll put it behind here, behind this guy, like on this wall and then on this wall and pull the rope through and around and just basically force it back to the, uh, to the wall. And then for this one, this one can go right on top here and I'll probably put two more rings uh, on the ceiling and pull the rope through, go into the same ring that's already established there. So, same for the other side. Um, no wooden frames for these. It's not necessary with how dense this stuff is. Um, so yeah, these are the uh, these are standalone frames. Um, so you can just kind of move them around. Um, you can kind of see how that's built. It's just a wooden uh, frame and. Uh, yeah, to, oh, by the way, for, for putting the fabric on, I'm just going to be using uh, fabric glue. I'm too lazy to sew anything, so not going to do that. Um, take way too long, I think. Yeah, one other important point is uh, for mounting these on the walls, you want to leave a little gap here. See how there's that gap? It's about four centimeters. The um, reason for that is... Um, uh, the, when, when the frequencies are right up against the wall, they're actually at a velocity of zero. So if you try to absorb energy at that point, it's not as effective as absorbing it when the frequencies have some momentum here. Um, at least that's what I read. Um, and so that's why I'm creating space. And also there is evidence if you actually do a comparison of like when they had it right up against the wall versus when they gave it a little space, it's much more effective when there's a little space. Uh, the way these are going to go on, well, I can just show you. Yeah, I gotta look at my camera to see where my. Okay, yeah, yeah, this thing right here. That's how these are going to be supported. Um, two of those. No, three of these. This is one solid piece of wood. I'm going to do one, two, three. One, two, three L's. And then these will simply be glued on with the, uh, the fabric glue that I already mentioned. Stick in there. Yeah, the less wood you can use, the better. You really don't want to have, you wouldn't want to cover up the sides, for example, of the rock wool with wood if you don't have to. Although for low frequencies absorptions, which is the point of this, uh, I guess wood doesn't really, a thin layer of wood doesn't stop the low frequencies that much. Um, so yeah, the reason I'm doing the L shape here rather than the going across, because my bed's right there, so didn't want it to take up that much, that much room. So yeah. That is the room treatment so far, so I'm going to start working on that tomorrow.